Hi guys! I'm here today with my dog Chloe. She says hi. And we are going to actually be reading my favorite book. Here, I'm going to set her down. Um, that I really like to read as a child. I was cleaning out my closet today at my parents' house and I came across it and I thought I would just share it with you guys. It's called The Pink Party by Marianne McDonald. All right. Lisa and Amy were best friends. They lived on the same street. They went to the same school and both of them loved the same color, pink. One day, Lisa and her mom went shopping. Lisa got some new shoes. They had snaps on the sides. They had bows on the toes. They were so light that Lisa danced all the way home. She could not wait to show them to Amy. Lisa loved them too. Lisa let her try them on. Is it okay if I get some too? She asked. Lisa wished she would not. Amy had so many things that Lisa did not have. She had a tree house, she had a bunk bed, and she had a kitten all her own. But Amy was her best friend, so Lisa said it was okay. Then Amy and her mom went to the shoe store, but the store did not have any more pink shoes. Never mind, said Amy's mom. You can have a pink lunchbox. So Amy got a pink lunchbox. It was the nicest lunchbox that Lisa had ever seen. I want a pink lunchbox too, Lisa told her mom. But mom said no. Your old lunchbox is fine, she said. It is not, said Lisa. It is a dumb lunchbox. It is not pink. You do not need a new lunchbox, said Mom, but you do need a pencil case. How about a pink one? Lisa nodded. So they went to the store. Lisa picked out a pink pencil case. It had two pockets. It had strawberries on it, and it zipped shut. Lisa took the new pencil case home. She sat in her rocker. She held her new pencil case. She rocked her rocker, and she zipped her pencil case. She felt better. The next morning, she put on new shoes. She took her new pink pencil case. She went next door to walk to the house to school with Amy. Amy met her outside. She was carrying her new pink lunchbox. She was wearing her new pink ribbons. And on her back was a pink backpack. It has four pockets, said Amy. See? Lisa looked at the pockets. She touched the star on one. She did not show Amy her new pencil case. Daddy said at dinner, If you like pink so much, let's paint your rocking chair pink. So Daddy and Lisa sanded her chair. They dipped paintbrushes into pink paint. They painted her rocking chair shiny pink all over. Lisa asked Amy to come and see. Wow, said Amy. I'm going to paint my playhouse pink. Copycat, thought Lisa, but she kept quiet. So Amy and her dad painted her playhouse pink. Let's have a party in it, said Amy. A pink party, said Lisa. Let's be fairies, said Amy. Pink fairies, said Lisa. So Amy and Lisa decided to have a pink fairy party. They asked Sue and Jill and Kim. I will make pink lemonade, said Amy, and I will make pink cupcakes with pink frosting, said Lisa. Lisa was excited. She and Mom dyed her old pink nightgown. Then Lisa made fairy wings with white net. She made a crown with silver paper. Daddy helped her make a wand. Let's make one for Amy, too, she said. So they made another one. Lisa painted Amy and Lisa on the wands in silver paint. She could not wait for the party. When the day came, Lisa put on her pink nightgown, her fairy wings, her silver crown. She looked pretty. Mom took her picture. Lisa took the cupcakes. She took the magic wands, and she went over to Amy's for the party. 
Sue and Jill and Kim were there. Oh, they said when they saw Lisa. But then Amy came outside. She wore a pink tutu and pink satin wings and pink glitter crown in her hair. Ooh, said all the girls. Amy danced around the playhouse. Everyone danced behind her. Everyone but Lisa. Show off, she said. And she took one pink cupcake. She took both wands and she went back home. She sat down in her pink rocker. She rocked and rocked. She ate her cupcake, but she did not feel any better. So she went outside to play. She did a fairy dance in the backyard. She swung up higher, high in her swing. She pretended she was flying. She waved her magic wand, but it was no fun by herself. Lisa held the wands behind her back. She stood on tippy-toe and she looked over the fence. There sat Amy all by herself. The pink party was over. Where is everyone? Lisa asked. Amy did not answer. Lisa fingered the wands behind her back. Amy, I made you a present, she said. She held up the shiny wand. Amy smiled. She took the wand. She touched the silver paint. It says Amy, she said. Mine says Lisa, said Lisa. Let's play, said Amy. So Amy and Lisa waved their wands and danced. They took turns flying high in the swing. They took turns wearing Amy's glittery crown. They took turns wearing Lisa's pink shoes. You will always be my best friend, said Amy. Lisa smiled. Her face turned a happy pink. That is the story of The Pink Party by Mary Marianne McDonald. Thanks, guys, for listening to me, and I miss you guys so much, and I hope I get to see you guys soon. Bye!